Ladies and gentlemen, folks, welcome. It's uh, dates right down here in the time. Should be in the recorder. Safe talking. This is a distance that we have to watch for, folks, because this is something that the, one of the super giants are going to get this close. Okay, and that super giant is exactly these sizes: twelve solar radiuses. Okay, twelve times the size, thirty-four mass of the sun. Okay. Eventually, we are going to end up with this so I'll make another video today and I'll basically look at the Sun basically everything we're gonna look at now is gonna be the earth okay but this is a, a solar distance a long time ago I looked up and basically the, we are locked out of information but we know that it's a supergiant because it's 12 solar radiuses 36 K temperature we'll be able to match it up and figure out which one is gonna get that close to earth because let's go to this now we're gonna show you the close objects to earth Okay, fireball, the no. Okay, don't want to swarm the site. When you're looking at the actual, uh, let's see if I can get it to come up. I uh, know I'm not going to, yep, here, hang on. I'll be able to go to a fireball, I believe. Here we go. Okay, so when you see what you see on these graphs, I'll just point into it real fast, and I can go back to what we're looking at, okay? This is uh, Asteroid Vent Veteronia. All right, I'm saying it wrong again. But anyway, we have Neptune, Uranus, and then this is the inner shot of this here, and this is always the sun, right? It's not showing, but it's right there in the middle, okay? Currently, we've got Mercury there, Venus, and Jupiter's way back up here, okay? So the sun's right there in the middle. So when you're looking at those graphs, it's you're gonna have to interpret and figure out whether the idea that they are showing us because basically the ball that you'll see that's not in the dead center will be Earth orbit. So they're not paying attention and showing you Venus or on that orbit. And you'll see it to the left hand side of the black I just showed you a minute ago. Okay? I'm also gonna explain the the IU of the width of the tail and so forth and so on. Okay? So when you're reading those summaries you got to remember that the one outside of Earth is Mars's ring, orbit ring, then Veteranea, Jupiter, and then going out Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Now, Nemesis is way behind uh, the Sun. Okay, I'm going to show you that. So basically, you have to remember this truth. Remember that they've been screwing around with us on Pluto. Okay. Planet X was a hypothetical, okay? But we still know, and if you go to Google uh, Telescope, Worldwide Telescope, you will see that there are suns behind Neptune that we never knew and we ended up getting a glimpse. So if you go to Worldwide Telescope and you look up behind Neptune, you will see that there are some suns back there, okay? Now, all the suns that we know of are in the supergiants and the sun, okay and we know that there's more than a hundred stars bigger than the Sun in the supergiants and the Sun is in the supergiants ie watch this video okay folks this is gonna be a UFO basically the thing is and there's no UFO okay it's objects in space now basically these are constellations and objects going by in space that you can see the camera zooming into this is from space shuttle Col uh, I believe it was Columbia they're gonna if I can get the audio to play which I think it should be playing here in a minute. Okay, you can see them zooming in. Now more than likely, this is the miniature sun that we are getting from the supergiants. Um, if you haven't adjusted the uh, 35 now watch the other sun rising here, or at least the object that's gonna get glow from the sun. It's gonna rise over here. But this is the smaller sun that we are seeing in the fireballs. Check that out. See how fast that goes by? That is the uh, basically blob that we end up getting by the right-hand side of the sun when we are looking from uh, Soho. And I'm backing this up again real fast so everybody remembers and realizes this, okay? This, let me find it as it comes through, okay? This is this uh, 
asteroid belt that we have up there right now. Okay, now there it comes. There comes the rising of the miniature baby sun that we have right now. Okay. Now this is playing. It should keep on going. I got sound going there. I don't know if we're getting technical difficulties from Kerasoft loving us. Okay. I've also got to go see if we are recording this. So basically, you got a shot of what it is. Okay, now let's go back again here on the video. Hit play about here. Now this is just after they're zooming in on whatever star cluster that we'll be able to figure out that they were zooming in on. Okay, now there is our baby sun rising. Okay, now that's not our sun, folks. Okay, that's that baby sun. Okay, more than likely this is our sun here. Okay. The only other thing that would be bigger than that, or that big, would be Jupiter. So we're going to figure this out eventually. I know that astronaut Scott and... Now, there's the baby sun. This is rises and sets every day. Check that out. That is our little dirty little bastard that flies in front of, uh, in front of the sun down there at... Uh, oh, on Antarctica, and it starts with a P, okay? Okay, now I'm just backing this back up. This is great. I'm going to let it play through, but the idea, let's watch it again as we go all the way back. Here you go. They're on the constellation. That's not the Earth below us, or if it is the Earth, they're going to zoom in and out. So we're going to go in there. Just watch it. They're, just, they're panning fast, zooming. So you'll be able to match this up, and if we can get this nailed down to what day that they got this, okay, it's no space armada UFOs up by the whatever. Now, I'm going to move. The, we see the sun coming in there. Now, there's another one that's going by there, too. So that's an interesting one also. And there comes the rising of our little miniature sun that's coming into the supergiants. Our sun is in the supergiants. We have seen this material here around the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? The sun is in the supergiants. That's a miniature sun in the front of the supergiants. It's probably the smallest doggone sun. I'm just panning down real fast so you guys can see that there's all kinds of other stuff moving out in space. There she goes. That's that little dark nemesis. And you can see the little tailings on it, okay? I'm going to back up for a second. That little popcorn fart. And it's not. It's humongous, folks. Now let me see if I can pause it. This thing has got all kinds of little tentacles on it and stuff, okay? And it rises and sets every day, but more than likely, guys, why it's rising and setting every day is the idea that it is doing an orbit, as you can see, or it's just doing a rising and a falling, and it's actually somewhat of a dead star and still rising and falling because this is a miniature star in the supergiants because the sun, that's our sun, has entered the supergiants, okay? Now, way far back... There's a shitload. That's why you're getting this glow here off the sun because the supergiants are behind the sun. This is the space shuttle between Earth and the sun. And basically, as you can see in the low horizon when the st recording started, that was Earth down there on the bottom. They zoomed in on these constellations. And this is the action up by the sun and in the supergiants. And all these material is objects in the supergiants. The sun right there is in the supergiants. Now, this could be Alraf in front of the R sun. That's why it may be bigger now. But the idea that also, if Alraf is right behind it, you're not going to differentiate our sun, which we get the sun beam on Earth. And that's why we're getting this miniature sun beam in Arizona sky before it is daylight, i.e. Fireball Network and the times that I will show you. Okay, we're pausing here, and I'm going to play it through real fast because you've already seen it from there to there. So here's the rest of it going through. And you can watch the, actually, I, you don't see it in the cursor. So basically, our little popcorn fart disappeared to the right, up, okay? Rises and falls every day. Backing up a little bit, see if we can see that little booger again take off. And it's not little, it's humongous. There's our baby sun. There's that riser, okay? Let's move the screen up.
okay, is it took off and it went up, okay? And it'll be high, the right-hand side of the sun in al every day. And it'll come down and it'll give us a magnification on Earth and make it look like a little black blotch. Now, there's our little baby sun. We're going to keep an eye on that bugger because we can see it on Fireball. We can see this on Fireball, okay? And then there's the sun behind it, directly in line like we see on Fireball, okay? This is all coming clear, folks. I'm going to let this play out. I think i got enough time to audio and video and to go back and give you the other four or five minutes. So other stuff today will be of, of the earth on this video. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop this because I'll put this in the other video also. Okay. This is all communications from Huntsville to Space Shuttle. Uh, I believe it. Yeah, I don't know. You guys heard it was. I, I think I was saying Columbia before and it might have been a Columbia. I'm not sure. This might have been the last mission that they went on. Now, the next video I also on that drop that they did with this panning, they pan the camera down. Check this out. They're going to pan the camera down, folks. That is the sun doing one of their big and maybe one of the comets hit or something like that. But Teddy, they're going to pan down here, and we'll end up doing that on the next video, trying to figure out what they pan down to before. Okay? So... Okay, Dad and Fireball Network real fast. And yes, and ask a lot to us because we have asteroids and we got stuff close. Okay. Uh, 062 AU. And also 0.071 AU right there. And also even the other one at one point something. Okay, let's going to give you the distance. Uh, I'll just pan down so you can. Okay, so there you got all of it so far today. I believe there was something like 10 of them. Okay. Okay, now, folks, this is today, distance from sun, okay? And, no, this is period, okay, this is the period, uh, what they call the uh, perhelion, perhelion. And you got to remember that helion means th the idea that this is the closest we've ever known and got saved by America, uh, by human, sorry, by human existence. This is the closest astronomy that we've ever known, Okay of the closeness of the sun. That's as close as we've ever known that we've been to the sun, okay, that's ever been recorded in astronomy. So no matter how many thousands of years, this is as close as we've known that the idea that the Earth has ever been nearest distance from the sun, it's ever been recorded by any astronomy or taken off some pyramid wall or whatever, Aztec wall, anything. That's as close as we know in any astronomy records that we know that we've been to the sun, okay? Now, the distance we have had in the past has had like a 14 on the end of it and also a 12. And you can go back and look at my comments pages and see that this is current right now, okay? And yes, we can still get closer if you go back and back up the video. Because it's 9.4 something. It ends up being 9.4 something. Right now, we're 92.13 million miles away, okay? You see other information here on the sun? And there you go. That's the nearest distance that we know of ever is there. Okay, this is the nearest we've ever been. Or that's the largest distance. And this is the closest distance we ever know if we've been to the sun. And the idea that right now, once again, we are that far away. All right, folks. Nemesis is here. And I got to stop and go back. All right, so this is what we're having to figure out, folks, is where is Nemesis at? All right. We know it's behind the sun and is, I will show you the distance right now of how far back it is. All right. But the idea that it's within our box and not out behind Neptune anymore and not behind Uranus. So it's close. So this is the monster that we got to worry about, okay? And I do know that it's a long ways away. It's still like four light years out. Now, current distance from Earth is, is that there, 4.058. It's a minor planet. Now, the one thing we have to realize is the idea that physical properties, it's 58.459 million miles in radius. It is a humongous sack of shit. Okay, and the idea that it's out behind the sun and it's going to come out from behind the sun, probably in 2012. It is in the supergiants and behind the sun. 
okay? We know the sun is here and it's way more than a few.